you know, this could go really well with uh, my if series idea where, you know, if dot dot was on a open blockchain. Yeah, no, I think that this is going to be good because, I mean, it, yeah, fuck, let's hop in. G'day, everybody. Bitman360 here. Glad you fucking made it and stuff. So, anyway, in this video, I want to touch on the fact that you don't own your fucking shit, right? Now, I'm talking specifically about hardware. Most of you cunts out there who are not, let's say, not savvy computer users like myself have probably realized that when you're using electronic devices these days, all the fucking innards are locked in there. You can't, you literally, you want to get in there to replace a battery, for example, because your battery's fucked. You've got to go to the store. Or you've got to find some dodgy cunt online who can do it for cheap. But then you end up with a Chinese knockoff battery and it lasts 20 minutes. So listen, what I want to get at is, this is a growing problem, you know. It's been highlighted a number of times within the tech community, community as an issue. One guy, one guy recently went to fucking jail because, of, uh, because he decided to, to go around this, if you like. And... What we're seeing here is the development of, again, a more permissioned hardware use. So we have already software, they've done it with the software, anyone who uses Adobe out there will know that fucking hell, now I'm on a subscription, all my fucking, my apps, Illustrator, Photoshop, now I've got, I can't fucking bootleg them offline. I can't fucking pirate the cunts because I got a, the only way to do it is a subscription now, I'm locked in. And again, they can fucking switch off my account if they like, or they can, you know, if their servers are down, I'm fucked. Now the hardware and the software is sort of all heading in that direction. Unless you're hyper geeky and you, you know, you, you operate open source and uh, you, you, you get your hardware where you know you want to be able to tinker and build it yourself. The rest of us fucking mugs out here who just buy shit off the shelf are getting locked into this stuff. We're getting completely fucking locked into these ecosystems, these centralized corporate structures where our hardware and our software is all basically harvested from a fucking not, a giant corporate teat. So we're just sucking hard, our hardware. I'm looking at you, Apple, and I'm looking at you, fucking Samsung. Not so much Samsung, perhaps, but we're sucking the teat of this, these megacorps, and they don't want us to leave. They can't have us leave and go to another, another platform. You fucking try it. See what happens. You won't be able to do it. So this is a call to action. Again, hooking into the decentralized Me Too campaign. We, we, we've got to fucking get up off our asses, right, fellas and, and ladies out there? You, you've got to... You gotta show that you give a fuck, or that you believe your independence, your digital independence, if you like. You gotta believe that that's a value. And those of you who have kids out there, especially, need to fucking talk to them about it. Because otherwise, they're gonna end up locked into some system for the rest, for their entire life. Because it's just been always like that. It's, it's tradition, if you like. I'm not saying fucking kick your Mac, your Mac out the window just yet, but start to think a little bit about, hang on a second, if I wanted to fucking change car, I can do that quite easily. Or if I wanted to repair my car even, take, take the battery out, I can still do that. In the future, maybe you fucking can't. Imagine having to drive a fucking Honda for the rest of your life. It's not what we want. So let's move more towards decentralizing you and me too together. Fuck off. I've had enough of this topic. It was a tough one. You know, I won't know. It's not, it's not what people think about, is it really? No.